think many missionaries mistakenly tried to convert the Indian to a culture rather than to Christ. They fostered upon him forms of worship strange to his heritage and tradition. But if Christ lives in his heart, that is the all-important thing. You as Indians are a sleeping giant, the original American. You are now awakening just around the corner. You may become a spiritual superpower in this country that could change not only America, but the world. from the Navajo Reservation, the Crow Nation. I'm Inupak and Athabascan. White Mountain Apache Tribe. I am Muckleshoot and Arapaho. I'm from the Navajo Nation. God encountered me in a dream and told me to fast and pray for this generation in Native America. I'm calling forth my generation. I'm telling you, step out into your inheritance. This is your land. Awaken. There's coming a great turnaround amongst the Native people. The spirit of suicide will be broken off of our people. Alcoholism will be broken off of our people. Native America, you have an inheritance from God on the earth in this land, and the earth is groaning for the manifestation of the sons and the giants of God to rise in Native America. So I say, go awake and rise. And we would be the evangelist to go forth and win America back to Christ. God, in his providence, in his wisdom, in his sovereignty, he has laid out a platform for the Native American people. He has set forth the stage. The curtains are drawn back. And all he's asking is that we awaken to not only our identity, but to who we are in Christ, that we step upon this platform. The world is watching. The nations are listening. What do the First Nations people have to say? Will they preach Christ or will they preach hopelessness? What do they have to say? It's been 40 years and no longer will we wander in the desert again as native people. We will take our inheritance like Joshua and Caleb and we will enter into the promises of God for the native peoples. 40 years since Billy Graham shared his prophetic words with the First Nations people. And now the wind of awakening is blowing strong across this land. The gathering of tribal nations is one of the amazing fulfillments of the vision to see all tribes coming together, seeking God as one. In 2015, over 60 tribes were represented, united with Israel, and intercessors from China were supernaturally drawn, crying out in prayer for the First Nations people to see transformation on native lands and bring revival to America. We are at the threshold of the next great move of God. In the past, I think many missionaries mistakenly tried to convert the Indian to a culture rather than to Christ. This has been a mistake that many missionaries have made throughout the world. They tried to get him to wear the white man's suits and give up his traditional dress. They gave him a white shirt and a black tie. They fostered upon him forms of worship strange to his heritage and tradition. Thus, many Indians rebelled against Christianity. It is time to step into your promise and purpose. Forgive and release your debtors. Seek God and not man. In this Kairos moment, rise up and walk into your destiny in Christ. I believe it was speaking of what our government and what we have done to the native peoples. A woman who was in their back. But because they can forgive, they can actually release this nation into a new day. Where the First Nations were put in a place of honor and respect Friends, in this land, and which I believe is already going out from here with revival. From the western shore of North America to the western gate of Jerusalem, we welcome the King of Glory. So 120 drops will be released here. And when they march with 120 shofars, it has been said that it will bring an awakening to God once again. Let's do this and release it. We're coming in a line.
across Indian country that the Spirit of the Lord has been moving. He's raising up the prophets, the evangelists, the teachers, the preachers. He's been raising up those who will come with encouragement, those who are willing to walk in unity and humility. We need to go outside the boxes of our churches and reach other tribes and reach and to begin to evangelize that we would become the evangelists to the world. God is calling us to the world now. The sleeping giant has awakened. It's standing up. Get ready, get ready, get ready. This is not an impossible dream.